we got a question here from uh, Minakshi. I have a user who is a site collection administrator. It's always about like the friend has the problem. It's not the person asking the question. This is for a friend. Oh. She's asking. He's asking. I don't know. Absolutely. Uh, he and other user who deleted files on purpose is also a site collection administrator and owner of the site. The other user has deleted a lot of files and went to the recycle bin and it says it does not have access. Both of the users are owners and site collection admins. The domain administrator was able to see the items. After a screen refresh, items are no longer visible, but they are visible in second stage bin. The files are deleted today and should not have moved to second stage. If the user who is owner and site collection administrator goes to the site settings, click on recycle bin under site collection administration, sometimes he can get through the recycle bin and sometimes can't. He tried again today and saw only three files. After two hours later, he got an error message, denied access. So he was able to get in, but then later was denied access. For now, if he goes to a second stage cycle, recycle bin, he can see the full documents that other users deleted. Issue is getting to the recycle bin. How can this be fixed? <laughs> There's a yeah. lot to unpack there. <laughs> yes. I feel like these friends are all playing each other. <laughs> Yeah, they're changing each other permissions. We got a lot of fly. users with a lot of access that are doing taking things on purpose access, and losing access. access and losing files. It's like battle of the admins. Yeah, that like I just had the experience where something that uh, I'm the admin on uh, went in the recycle bin, wasn't there. It was in the second stage. Like it just happened. It was in the second stage, and I was able to restore it. But I'm like. Okay, one, I was already wondering like how it got deleted and stuff happens. We hit the wrong key sometimes, but for it to jump right before my eyes to second stage, like nobody else was in there but me, I did not hit delete. I didn't, yeah. Was this anyway. SharePoint online or on-prem? Online. So little known fact about this recycle bin. I mean, the only reason I'm, I'm taking this because this gave me an opportunity to pull this out. <laughs> and I had written the, the section on recycle bins. But memory pressure, uh, not memory pressure, I'm sorry, storage, uh, lack of storage space and quotas can have an impact on that. Um, because when things are deleted, you know, they, they count against the quota. Um, they got to go somewhere. And if you've got a lot of stuff that's, if you're in a, constrained storage situation things may advance through faster so well so i don't that know what explains like that part of the issue what about the fact that they, they could get in there they are denied access they're able to get in then they're denied access um i think his, I think his friend is playing a, a joke on him and taking away his <laughs> access so he can't go in to see what's in the recycle bin <laughs> it makes you wonder but you know the way this is written it gives me the impression they're on prem, um, mm. not online. And, you know, um, configuration for if you're in an on prem scenario, recycle bin configuration is determined on a web app basis. So different web apps can have different recycle bin configurations. Um, I have got to, you know, they may, there are a bunch of different ways. If we asked a bunch of questions, we might be able to figure this out. For one, depending on how they're going in, if they've got uh, the web application extended to multiple URLs, um, you know, I don't know if they're going in the same way, but I wouldn't expect this kind of behavior, but I can find ways to explain it. I just don't know if any of the situations are relevant to them. Just thought of a great uh, t-shirt idea, you know, SharePoint on-prem, expect the unexpected. Well, I'll just bring my T-shirt up today. I'll keep a think of that. <laughs> burn it all. That's great. That's right. That's great. SharePoint, burn it all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I say restart your server farm. Yeah, yeah, that'll definitely solve their problem, Max. I mean, it'll at least keep them occupied with some other problems until. Isn't that the, but that's the answer. That's the first answer to every technical question is if you try turning it off and on again. Yeah. Except so for I, SharePoint. No. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's surprising we, the number of people in technology who 
don't actually do that first. So I'll, I'll I'll remember in the early days of what is now Office 365 uh, when I was at Microsoft, and there was a lot of turning servers off and on again. I'll bet. <laughs> Be pause days. Yeah. Yeah, that totally doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> That is a yeah. Uh, listen to the share to the Microsoft guy, people. Come on. <laughs> Congratulations, not. Max. You're representing the entire organization. <laughs> Great. I'm sorry, Satya. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs>